Hello ladies and gentlemen of YouTube, this is Magnus, and welcome back to another episode of Minecraft Dinosaurs. We have our dodo here, whom we have not yet named. Actually, we should, we should put, I think that creeper that blew up this giant piece of land also destroyed our sign. How could you possibly do that, creeper? So yeah, please let me know if you would like to name this dodo. We will probably name it in the next episode. We're going to be naming our... Spinosaurus over there this episode as well as talking about some new research not about dinosaurs But about stuff that happened around the time of the dinosaurs related to the dinosaurs, but has to do with tuna Strange, right? So we have a dodo egg here This is the first egg that our dodo who is currently unnamed has provided us It's grown all large and cool looking sort of looks like a toucan actually with its face. Look at that toucan face I want to eat some Fruit Loops. By the way, Fruit Loops, totally not a cereal in Korea. Can you guys believe that? It makes me sad. So we have a dodo egg. I don't know what to do with it. I don't really want to eat it. I suppose I can try to make a wild population of dodos. That would be interesting. I don't know if we can make a lot of them or not, but I sort of, sort of want to start it. Let's see if we can throw it and get a dodo. <gasps> And no dodo. Okay, so clearly we need to uh, we need to get some more eggs, and it'll take a while to make a dodo population. But in due time, in due time, we will have plenty of dodos. I can't wait. Do you follow me or anything? No, apparently not. Oh well. All right, so we're gonna talk about our construction project that we're going to be doing. I think this is how I want to make our bridge. I think I wanted to have little stone steps on the side for i don't know what we would call them just some sort of like guards to stop you from falling into the water although admittedly they do nothing clearly and these little half slabs made of of course this wood because it's awesome looking and i love it and we should be able to make a bridge like that i'm not exactly sure how i'm gonna make the bridge uh, across the water let's see it should be above the water. I don't want it to be in the water, so things have to be on this level. Hmm. So perhaps we should go through with dirt and make some sort of... Let's see, where should it go? How are we gonna get across? Here? I think that'll be fine. Yeah, if we go across here, that'll be good. Yeah, that looks okay. So let's let's take care of this farmland. This this will no longer be farmland. Doop. Come on, break it. Yeah, break it. Very good. So that'll mark where we want that to go. And I guess we can use. Hmm. I'm not really sure how to put down the scaffolding. We're going to use dirt, probably, to do the scaffolding. Alright, so I need some dirt, then. I need some dirt. I have lots of dirt. Never mind. Alright, so let's see if we can do the scaffolding while we talk about the tuna stuff. Tuna, tuna, tuna. Yeah, I think we can just, like, put this down and then break it later. I think. Maybe. What to do? Okay, if this is going to be the two center parts, then... This is going to be where the steps are, correct? How am I going to put down the steps? Maybe... If I put one here... Okay, so if I have... Scaffolding like that. Let's see if I can figure out how to place these. Yeah. That doesn't that doesn't seem so bad at all. So this would be the thing, and then we would have more dirt here. So let's go ahead and put the scaffolding here. We're going to cut out a lot of stuff in our our farm, but I, I don't really care about that at all. Alright, so let's go ahead and start doing that. That'll be fine. No problems. Ooh, and we're gonna drown. Alright, so the thing about the tuna 
This isn't about dinosaurs, but it does have to do with the the KT extinction event, which happened approximately 65 million years ago, ending the reign of the dinosaurs. Of course, there are still some dinosaurs alive and well as birds, but they are no longer the dominant species of the planet like dinosaurs were for... Did you get out? How did you get out? What is this nonsense? How are these dinosaurs continually getting out of their cages? You. Get back in there. Oh, really? Go. Go. Dude. Okay, we're, we're just... That is not what I wanted to do at all. Okay, we can we can do this. We can save. We can save. Nope. Okay, you, you, come here, come here. We're gonna, we're gonna push you back in there. Go, go, this way, this way. Come on, come on, go. Go up the stairs, go up the stairs. No, no, no. Oh, come on, we haven't even given you your name yet. Why are you getting out of the cage? Why are you screaming at me? Come on, yeah. It's the one annoying thing about this mod. I mean, in addition to like all the glitches and annoyingness. In addition, you should be able to push these things, but you can't really. Like you sort of can sometimes, but th then they start running around and you're like, I, I clearly need to be able to tame you. Oh, come on. This is ridiculous. Why are you fighting me? Get back in your cage. You're just like Ares. This is not how this episode is supposed to go. We're supposed to be talking about tuna. Come on. Dude. Come on. Go up. No. That way. Go up the stairs. Go up the stairs. Oh, I'm so angry at you. Why are you attacking me? Go up the stairs. Here, follow me, follow me, follow me. Dude, dude, come on, come on, follow me. You know you want to, come on. Come on! Okay, we're... We're gonna use creative mode. <laughs> dude, what are you doing? Why are you freaking out? Come on, follow me. Come here. Why are you freaking out on the block? Come here. Oh, you are useless. You make me so angry. Look, look, even the cow can go up the stairs. Why can't you go up the stairs and why are you floating? Oh. Come on, go. Oh. Alright, so while I'm doing this, I guess I can at least attempt to talk about tuna. Although it's really, really difficult to focus. So during the tertiary, the... The KT extinction event, there were many, many, many species of marine animals such as fish that went extinct because, you know, basically a giant asteroid hit the earth and caused a lot of problems, lots of ash and dust going into the air, lowering global temperatures, causing all sorts of misery and mayhem. I don't want to kill you, but I will, I will. Come on, go. Go, go, go. Ah, oh, no. Uh, I'm so angry. Why are you a terrible dinosaur who does not obey? I think, I think eventually we're just gonna have to stop trying to put them in cages like fences and stuff. And no, uh, we're just gonna have to put them in giant pits in the ground. I think that's what it's come to. Uh, all right. So anyway, I'm just I'm just gonna leave you there. I don't I don't even care at this point. You you can do whatever you want. Okay. Oh, and by the way, we're gonna name it. We're gonna name it right now. Because this was part of the episode, so we may as well do it here since clearly our dinosaur is just going to continue doing whatever it pleases. 
And if you guys know how to actually keep things in a cage, other than making a giant pit, please let me know. Okay, so we're gonna name the Spinosaurus Sobek. Uh, yeah, it's his alligator something or other. I can't even remember what Sobek is. I will look it up later, because I'm very angry at Sobek at the moment. The original person who wanted this name was... The Reason 070 or something like this. I don't know how to pronounce that name. Original name when our Spinosaurus hatched, along with Shag Floor Matt and William B. William B. You know who you are. Not gonna go through and name people on YouTube because YouTube, you are full of nonsense. Oh, Sobek, you, you dirty, dirty Spidosaurus making me angry, ruining my life. Okay, so that, that should be good there. Swimming back. Setting this up as well. So lots and lots of marine creatures such as giant fish and marine reptiles and lots and lots of things died out about 65 million years ago due to the KT extinction event. And luckily for the family of fishes and things that included the ancestors of tuna, there were no longer giant things around eating them and there weren't so many people, well not people, so many fish fighting for resources we are going to go to sleep immediately because we've been having a creeper problem recently. All right. And so, since there were no longer creatures eating them and taking advantage of all of the resources, there were more resources for the tuna and the ancestors of the other related species of fishes to the tuna. And just so you, get, you guys know, because I know that someone's going to mention it, yes, the word fishes is appropriate when describing multiple species of fish. So now that we have that out of the way, let us continue. What, uh... It was a Japanese university, yes, it was a Japanese university that did studies of DNA for about 5,000 species of fish to try to find out what species of fish are most closely related to tuna. And it ends up that there are lots of species of fish that are very closely related to tuna. In fact, they've completely redefined the tuna's family. And some of these fish that are closely related to tuna are really freaking weird, like the fish that live on the very bottom of the ocean, uh, the fish... I can't remember their names, but they like double the size of their stomach and it like bloats out so that they can eat fish larger than themselves. All sorts of very strange fishy creatures that are apparently very closely related to tuna, despite the fact that they look incredibly different. And whenever something like that happens in evolution, as I've talked about many times in our series, because we talk about stuff that is old, and thus things have evolved, oftentimes when stuff like that happens, you're like, how, does, how did this happen? And the way that it happened is always that a whole lot of niches opened up for a single species, which took its place in many different niches and then evolved and adapted into them. And as such, that's pr precisely what happened during the KT extinction event. Many species of tuna ancestors ended up developing and then becoming various. Oh, that is way too many. Pe yeah, that is way too many pieces. I did not need this many. Why did I do this? But anyway, they ended up diverging into various different species that look very, very different because they live in different places, different. Th different depths, different kinds of prey, etc, etc, but they all are related to some very old species of proto-tuna, proto-fish, and their ancestors lived in the open ocean, but after the KT extinction event, many of them moved into new places such as shallow waters, etc, and wonderfulness happened. Yay, evolution. So that's the new stuff about tuna from Japan. Japan is probably researching tuna, by the way, because Japan has generally been a supporter of figuring out everything about tuna because a very large part of their economy relies on tuna for like sashimi and sushi and Japan also has very large 
collections of tuna for the inevitable demise of the tuna since we continue to eat tuna despite the fact that you know they're going extinct uh, eventually all the tuna are going to die out there's there's really nothing else to say about it they're all going to die and it's all going to be our fault Ugh. And because the Japanese have a very large storehouse of tuna, they're probably going to sell that at premium prices. But this isn't to say that the Japanese may not eventually also know enough about tuna to save them. I really hope that happens because tuna is delicious and it would be very, very depressing if we ended up not being able to keep tuna with us because we ended up eating them all instead of conserving them so that we can eat them forever. But that's just my opinion. I'm generally for conservation. Let's make a shovel, because I'm lazy. Stone shovel. But yeah, so there's that. We also have a bit of news from space, as we, we always do. So, as you guys may know, we... Uh, I talked a lot about the SpaceX launch that's coming up, the maiden launch of the Falcon version 1.1. Well, there have been, of course, some delays. We always expect delays in the space industry. Launches are delayed all the time for all manner of reasons. And what happened this time? This is a really nice bridge. I, I like you, bridge. I'm gonna have to move my farm around a bit. But I have plenty of food at the moment, so I don't really mind. You are a nice bridge. Very nice bridge. I'm gonna fill this in a little bit. So it doesn't look so strange. There we go. Hmm. This looks strange just like being out like this. I suppose I could make a path going all the way around and make this path eventually go up there. I can make this turn here. Yeah, that that's a good idea. We can make this turn we can use the stairs and make this connect up with here. I would like that. Alright, that's very good. Oh, also another thing I need to do. Where... I think this will be enough, maybe. I need to fill these in. Because these used to be blocks of dirt. So I'm going to fill these in. But yeah, so there were lots of delays for the Falcon version 1.1. The uh, SpaceX company, uh, I think they're launching from Vattenberg. I can't remember the name of the launch site. I'm pretty sure it starts with a V. Pretty sure it's Vattenberg or something like that. Oh, this this doesn't look very pretty at all. I'm going to take this out as well. Basically what launch companies tend to do before they actually attempt to fire a rocket, especially if it's a, a, new, a new prototype or a new version of the rocket. There we go. What they usually end up doing is they do a wet dress rehearsal, always, generally. It's uh, essentially a test run of filling up the tanks with liquid oxygen and kerosene and whatever other propellants they need, checking all the subsystems, etc, etc. How are you doing, Terry? See, Terry, you're a nice, well-behaved dinosaur. Look at you, you're just like sitting here, not causing any problems. You're probably almost writable. Oh, we need... I forgot, once again, we need to make our, our Dinopedia. I need to make a book, and in order to make a book, I need leather. Do I have leather? I may have leather, I have no idea. Sobek's still alive, yes he is. Wonderful. Ah, oh, sigh. Freaking Sobek, man. Did you grow? Please don't tell me you grew. I should have just... Are you gonna are you gonna bite me still? Are you gonna bite me? Please don't bite me. I'm just I'm gonna break this. We're gonna we're just gonna throw this guy through here. It's really not okay for you to be out of your cage, Sobek. Uh Sobek, come here. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. We to keep going. No. Keep going. Keep going. Nope. Go in. Go in. What are you doing? Go. 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 Ugh, sigh. 
Why are you so useless, Sobek? But yeah, so a wet dress rehearsal. They 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 have to do that. SpaceX does, and that that went according to plan. There didn't seem to be any problems with that. But then they had to do their static fire test, which static firing is essentially holding a rocket in place at the launch site, and then. After you hold it in place, you fire up to full throttle, have the rocket check all of its systems, and tell you if there are any major problems. Now, unfortunately, for us, there were some problems. <laughs> ha. Nope. Nope. You stay out of here. Why? How I swear, get out of here. <laughs> no, really, get out. Go. 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 Why do you keep trying to get out? I don't get it. Oh, well, there's there's some leather right there. I guess I can pick that up. Ah, uh, that is not what I wanted to do whatsoever. So unfortunately, during the static fire test of the, the first edition of the uh, the first, oh, I don't even know what to call it, the first test of the version 1.1 Falcon 9, there were some problems, there were some anomalies as, as said by Elon Musk. And as such, ha, we have recaptured Sobek. His health is probably terrible, but we've recaptured him for now. I don't know how to keep him in here. I'm very confused about that, but hopefully, hopefully he stays for a while. But yes, so there were some anomalies with the SpaceX static fire, and as such, the 1.1 the flight is delayed until further notice. I will be sure to keep you guys updated both here and in Minecraft Pokemon, which you guys should totally go watch that series if you haven't already. It is an amazing mod, and I'm having so much fun. I'm also considering possibly starting a series for the uh, the mod with beekeeping because beekeeping is like amazing to me and I feel like breeding bees just just cuz beekeeping is cool <laughs> nope no dodos oh well oh we have built ourselves a bridge we have recaptured Sobek and we have named him if you would like to name the dodo over there please let me know below in the comments there's not much else to do for today no more news as well so thank you very much everyone for watching my name is Megnius, and I will see you next time.